Hey guys, it's the uh, J Ball 100. I have a video for you today of the Winchester multi tool. Came in a set of this. Came with a. Uh, I'll show you right there, right next to me. Two of them actually. Uh, next to me. Little keychain knife and a uh, little lockback, which I will be reviewing too. And a money clip with a knife on it and stuff. Um, it's like nine bucks at Walmart. So I just picked it up. Another Winchester knife review to coming up. But I s showed this knife in my uh, weekend EDC video. Link down in the uh, description along to my Twitter. And my Facebook. If you want to follow me, you don't have to follow me on Facebook. But I really don't go on Facebook. So just follow me on Twitter. I tweet all the time. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Just making sure my laptop wasn't in the back. So yeah, we have the, uh, it's a nice sheath. It's uh, just a simple, I don't know, nylon sheath. Uh, nice. A belt loop. I don't care what the belt loop. I'll show you how I carry it in the EDC. But, it has the two pouches. One of them is for this little, uh, bit set. The, uh, little driver, which you have to put one of these in to pull out. Because it's like stuck in there. I'm thinking I might just hot glue it in there. And just use this as a little screwdriver. So you can torque on it too. Um, yeah because otherwise I'll show you how it goes on the uh, multi-tool. But here's the multi-tool itself. It has. Okay first I'll go over what I did to it first. Because it was spring loaded. But I'm not the biggest fan of spring loaded one. And this one you don't need it because it doesn't spread that far. I can still grab it. On this other one, where is it? This one. This one that trails. It's a big multi tool. Yeah, it's heavy duty. It springs open like twice as far and I have trouble reaching it. So I can just use the multi tool with the spring. I left the spring on that one because it's big. There's a review coming up soon. Like I said, watch the other video of my EDC an update at the end but this is a uh, has the inches on the bottom of this this is the inch side and, um, metric side so yeah um nice pliers you got the uh, standard needle nose like you would have and uh, normal set with the wire cutter um, you can get a fair amount of grip on them the handles are moving a little too much for my liking. Like they're sque you can squeeze them tighter than the pliers will go. But yeah, no, you you can probably close it with one hand, but yeah, you can. Here, see if I can do it on video. You can flick it open, kind of, <laughs> but you can close it easier with one hand. I'll go around this way. Um, as for the tools. In here, you have a uh, standard blade for multi tool. It's uh, two grinds on there. Oh, is that two grind? Yeah, it's not a full flat grind. I don't know of any multi tools that have one. If if you do, I would love one that has a full flat grind. Tools are somewhat hard to get at because I just quit, cut my nails. Open that here. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so, can opener, uh, bottle opener combo, um, useful, not necessary on a multi-tool, but, yeah, some people would like, um, I have a hat that has a bottle opener, so I don't need it, um, small precision screwdriver, that's uh, the chisel design, um, I think this might be also an all. I think that's the name. If it's not, correct me. Um, saw with very aggressive uh, teeth. This this could go through at least two inches. Com it, this is a for the tool. It's a very comfortable grip. And this locks back. See, very comfortable grip. They don't lock, but they just go back right. Um, so it the metal. Kind of on the edges, cuts in your hand. It's not as round as I like it to be, but it's comfortable enough to saw with. 
Um, I forgot to mention, but with pin, uh, it is pin, so you cannot adjust for anything. You cannot open it. Um, you have a fully serrated blade. Nice, uh, sharp serrations. You have your uh, little knife, which is sharp, relatively. It's hard to get to with no nails. And, uh, well, and then you have your screwdriver, which is a Phillips. I'm wondering, when I first bought this knife, not that I opened it up, I'm like, why is this screwdriver square? Then I had to adjust something, so I'm like, oh, I'm going to use this to adjust it. So I pulled it out, put a bit in, and I started turning it, and I'm like, what? It's not working. And the whole thing was turning, so I pulled it out, and on the bottom here, I don't know if you can see that in the video, but it's squared, so it slips onto there. It's loose, but it works. It doesn't move. And it is a great extender for a screwdriver. Or for the different bits, like the uh, two flathead bits that are offered, um, it works. So yeah, um, this is the uh, J Ball 100. Rate, comment, and subscribe. See ya.